I think it's fair to say it's been difficult for anyone uh, in the steel market as plans have been completely disrupted and everyone is having to be reactive to any developments. Uh, European steel producers restricted production at the end of February uh, due to health and safety and also the governmental lockdowns. What this meant was we saw a cut to production capacity by about 50 percent. But most expectations is that lost production could even be higher than this. Demand has been very slow to recover. Uh, the key industries, so this is your automotive and construction sectors, these were completely shut down. So now we've recently been seeing some announcements of restarting and the easing of restrictions. But if we look at the uh, new data from the European Car Manufacturing Association, this hasn't been encouraging. Europe car sales have plummeted to a 30-year low. So I guess the question is, what does this mean for the European steel industry? Well, if we take, for instance, Italy, it's the second largest steel producer in Europe. Pretty much all but two producers were completely shut down. Now we've seen Italian producers um, across the board uh, back to work and at, at producing again. However, new order bookings are down by 75%. So even with the new restarts, the, the question is, who's going to be buying the material? Yeah, I, I mean, that's sobering, your assessment here. But I guess the, the question really is then um, what current inventory levels look like and what the state of stored metal is at many of these end users. Do we have a good sense of just how quickly they may come back to the market ultimately when they feel that the lockdown has eased sufficiently? What are stocks looking like? Well, I mean, European mills, um, because of the way prices have fallen, so prices fell around um, in Europe about 10% over the last month or so. Um, European mills have been therefore very keen to get rid of stock wherever they can. We even received reports of sales being done into North Africa, which to say the least is irregular. Um, domestic mills have also had to compete with aggressive imports, uh, which has put further strain on finished deal prices. So, you know, discussing these factors with buyers themselves, our team has received feedback that buying is bu being done solely on what is needed, sort of hand to mouth sort of buying uh, for immediate delivery. So relying on domestic material because of the shorter lead time. Um, so even with the rate of uh, cuts to production by domestic lills, the rate of demand reduction has outpaced these efforts.